hey guys so welcome to today's video today we're gonna clean my master bedroom um, excuse my voice I'm having allergy sinus issues so I kind of sound like a man <laughs> but anyway so we're gonna get started on this video this is my bedroom it is crazy like when I walked into it like every day I was like oh I just need to clean my room but it was one of those rooms that you know, you clean everything else, you make sure your kids clean their room, you're doing the hybrid or homeschool stuff. Last thing you think about is cleaning your own darn bedroom. Um, and then this is also like my little crafting sewing area that's turned into a nightmare. Look at all those cords, goodness gracious. And there's some decor right there that I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do. So let's get started. Right, so honestly they say like making your bed every day is like the key to like motivation and success and whatever they say um, but I do absolutely love when I make my bed do I do it every day mm, not really but <laughs> when I do it feels so good so I made sure I did that first just so I had like a clean slate and I could start putting things on and then we have this Dern chair uh, this chair is actually 22, 21 years old. Look at those ripped jeans. Uh, my grandmother got it for me when I was pregnant with my oldest. Um, he was born in 2000, uh, which is crazy. Um, yes, I am not old enough to have a 20-year-old child, just so you know. <laughs> I was a teen mom. But uh, I'm just going through this massive pile of clothes that I have here. That orange box is our winter jackets and hats and stuff. I don't even know how that got out of the like the attic space. I ended up putting it back in there, but that didn't make any sense to me why it was out. But this is all of our clean clothes. I am going through and pulling out all the ones that need to be hung up. Uh, it's one of the things I hate doing. So I'm gonna finish hanging these up and we'll keep going. All right, so now we're moving over here to my dresser. Oh gosh, <laughs> I think having larger spaces like a long dresser like this where you can put things, it's just a perfect place to stack things up like s everywhere. It's crazy, I have so much stuff over here. Um, this fall, maybe, no, not even this fall, eventually I want to paint our dressers, so I'm trying to decide if I wanna do it white or black. Um, these two dressers were both of my grandmother's on my dad's side. Um, along with the one nightstand that we have. So a lot of the furniture I have is um, family heirlooms, I guess you would say. I know a lot of people would say not to paint it, but it's old. It's getting really kind of messed up on the top. I've had it since I was like a young teenager, like 12 or 13. Um, but uh, we got that cleaned off. I do come back and dust towards the end. You'll be able to see that. But this is my crafting area. I have my Cricut, the sewing machine where I've been sewing masks, and then I have a dress of Hannah somewhere. I think I put it on the bed that I need to fix. But I got all my Cricut stuff right here. I can do like the little cups you can see, t-shirts. Um, it is great for like quick birthday gifts or um, Mother's Day, Father's Day kind of things. Um, I, I think if you enjoy doing crafts, I would suggest getting a Cricut. It's really fun to have. We will see here in a second. The spider, look down. Do you see that? <laughs> yeah, I screamed so loud. <laughs> Darn thing was in her dress. Oh, that thing gave me a heart attack. Okay, so we're gonna finish cleaning up this area because it's a hot.
So what do you guys think? I painted these from Hobby Lobby. Can't decide if I should put them up there. Let me know. I also got these faces. I'm going to show you. I think I do. Yes. I got them in the clearance section. They were like three something a piece. It was like 70% off. And they're still in the actual like place I section like the candle holders or whatever they are for like the higher price. Like I just got them in the clearance section really cheap. Not sure why, but just want to let you know. Oh, check the clearance sections. This spot over here, like this part of the room, I have no idea what to do with. Uh, I had brought up this old sewing machine that you can see right here as like almost like a decorative piece, but for the kids to use back in the spring when you know everything kind of shut down. But now it's just kind of a catch-all, and then we have the filing cabinet that we moved in here so I can start filing um, important documents in here and then our printer and stuff. But sorry, it's blurry. It'll even out in just a minute. But um, I want to do something on the wall. I was thinking about getting like a chair or something right there I don't know I feel like I'm trying to figure out how I still want this room to go like I don't know if I should move my dresser over here so both of our dressers are on this side of the room and then have something over on the other side I don't know I don't know what to do um so if you have any suggestions let me know but I am just cleaning out all of this junk that I just been piled up that back corner used to be 10 times worse. I'll have to link an old video in there. But <laughs> I had like, I don't know, waist high clothes over there because that's where we just tossed all of our clothes that we didn't want or didn't fit in for a good probably year or so. And I finally bagged them up. I think it was like 10 or 11 bags. Um, it was crazy. But I've dusted a lot of, there's a couple 31 bags. I used to sell 31 like 10 years ago. Um, and so I just have a bunch of empty bags that are just there. I don't know where to put them. Um, and then a lot of the stuff stacked up, what I'm stacking up back there is my 30, not my 31, sorry, my PTO stuff. Um, so I'm the PTO president at our elementary school. And so that's just all of like the old minutes and stuff like that. So the last thing that I have to do is vacuum. And boy, do I love me some vacuum lines. <laughs> I really wish I had one of those um, robo vacs that just would come and do it every day because I would vacu have like vacuum lines all day long if I could. But we are getting close to the end. Okay, it looks so much better. Just by putting the clothes away, <laughs> it looks so much better. But I'm loving having the create clean room. I'm coming in here every day in the afternoons and just laying down on the bed with my soft blanket. I got that from TJ Maxx, by the way. Super soft. But everything feels good. Um, ready to start on my next project. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Share with a friend that you think might need some motivation for their bedroom cleaning. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.